Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jeff. So today I'm going to make a video to talk about what I do for work here in Hawaii. So, yeah, this question comes up a lot. People are always very curious about um, what it is that I do for work here in Hawaii. And although it's hard to explain and I don't really know how to put it out there in a way that would make sense to someone to be able to duplicate it. But I can give you some basic formulas or basic principles of things that I set in, set forth to make this uh, possible. So the, the number one principle to be able to live in Hawaii or be able to live anywhere, um, I guess it started with uh, a book by Timothy Ferris called um, the, what is it? The, four hour work week is what it's called okay so the four hour work week it's funny because you read the book but you don't remember the name but anyway he talked about how um, you know you can really live anywhere do anything in this day and age or any day and age really you just have to put certain things in place and it opened up my mind to think about you know to basically take the cap off of the the limits that were once on me with the uh, the the you know the, the mainland or life in general one thing I will say is you know it's easy to put down the the mainland or America until you go somewhere else and then you know you kind of see that um, it's actually really great in America so I've been on the side of the coin that said the grass is always greener on the other side I've also been on the coin side of the coin where I said you know where I was gung-ho America go America you know patriot so I'm more in the middle now I, I definitely appreciate America and I definitely um, I guess you could say look at some of the things that could be improved but no place is perfect you know whether it's Hawaii Thailand Australia Switzerland um, Tahiti who knows wherever you want to go you know you're always gonna come across things that are gonna irritate you about it so Trying to get away from the rat race or escape America is not necessarily a solution. It's more or less looking at the things that are causing you to be uncomfortable. So in this day and age, one of those things is anxiety, stress that comes from money. You know, the number one, the number one uh, most common reason for divorce is financial stress. So if you just look at that, and you follow Timothy Ferris's uh, guidelines on how to, you know, have a four-hour work week, work less, make more. Um, you know, it's something to keep in mind. So, the what I did after I read that book was I got I got to thinking, and I took some other advice, which is one piece of advice that came came up was create multiple income streams. So, if you if you apply this. To your life where you're at now or when you move to Hawaii it's gonna make things a lot more uh, stress-free financially so to get back to me I use the internet as a tool to make money it's not it's not easy it's not hard it does take effort it does take focus as in, in case any of you did not know I was in the Navy for eight and a half years so um, I don't think I've mentioned that but I did do that and there is a little bit of money that comes from a compensation for that that's one revenue stream so I found that revenue stream education you know GI Bill education benefits it's another uh, stream now just because you didn't serve in the military doesn't mean that you can't also access revenue streams because they exist you just have to know where to find them okay so just that income right there then income that comes from having a blog having a website um, being you don't have to have a blog or a website you know you can be an affiliate marketer you have to it really starts with educating yourself just like you've taken the time to educate yourself on Hawaii you take time to educate yourself on number one ways to make money online educate yourself right there that was where I started I was like well how do you make money online what can I do because <laughs> Going from someone who was in the Navy, constantly moving around, I, I didn't sit at a desk, I didn't sit at a computer. It was all footwork, it was all 
basically like grunt work. I was a, I loaded heavy ammunition onto the aircraft. So it wasn't, um, it was a lot of physical exertion, you know, like my shoulders are in pain, or not in pain, but they would be when I would work there because you'd carry things on your shoulder. Um, you would load bombs with your arms, skids, you know, different stuff like that. So when you start working online, you're gonna go through a little bit of a, a period where you have to really focus online. All right, so another way that I make money aside from making money online, I guess you could say, well, you know, YouTube's one way. Um, being an affiliate marketer, AdSense through your blog, selling things on Facebook, Instagram, building a following, um, you know, just building a YouTube channel in general you know, for a specific area that you're knowledgeable on. Some of you are landscapers, some of you are painters, some of you are chefs, some of you are um, holistic healers, some of you are pilots, some of you are artists. It just, I don't know, I'm just throwing out ideas to let you know that each one of you are something that someone else you know, would want to know. So if you're not something, if you're a young person and you're watching this, and you're like, well, I haven't really become a professional in anything, pick like some things to become a professional at. You either become really good at one thing or you become a jack of multiple trades. So that's kind of the direction you would go with that. So the, the, the other way that I make money is I also have these things that I do, like I fly drones, I do aerial photography, I do uh, cinematography, I, I do air, uh, air photography, land photography, um, underwater photography, so I say sea, air, and land, you know, I'm a Navy guy, so Navy SEALs, that's what SEAL stands for, sea, air, and land. Um, and then I also do 360 degree camera work. So that's a trade that I did not know two years ago, but I, over a span of a year and a half, two years, I picked that up. Uh, it definitely helps being in beautiful places because you get inspired to do things like that. And it's not just Hawaii's a beautiful place. I mean, I was in California. That's another beautiful place. Colorado, Alaska, Seattle, it doesn't matter. Um, another thing that I do is some handyman work. I mean, I can always mow a lawn, right? <laughs> I can always walk a dog. It, it just having various different things that you can do. Also, like going back to affiliate marketing. You know, if Facebook has a marketplace. Craigslist has a, um, a, a place you can post ads. Maybe you, it, you nothing comes easy. <laughs> it's like that old saying, I even read it today. It said, um, uh, beautiful places are tra come from hard roads. You know, you gotta travel down difficult roads to get to the beautiful place. Like you're on the island. If you wanna go to beautiful Makalavana, you gotta cross the lava field that's you know gonna wreck your shoes and do all that. You wanna to go to the beautiful beach in YPO, you gotta go down YPO. You wanna to go to Green Sands, you gotta take that crazy hike. You know, so all things that are worth having, they usually come with some sort of hard work. If you wanna have a nice chiseled body, you gotta have, you gotta be willing to put in hard work. So I think that's part of it also, is having the right mentality about what you're embarking upon. So if you wanna to move to Hawaii, for some of you who are stressing, I would recommend getting set up with alternative streams of revenue, but also when you come here, think about the things that you can do to provide a service. But most of the money that you're gonna get here, I mean, if you get a job here, like let's just say you got a job at um, a pizza parlor, or as a taxi driver, or as a tour bus guide, you're gonna make a certain amount of money there, but where else are you getting your money? Is it online? Is it doing side work, handyman, walking dogs, um, cleaning houses, you know, making kombucha? Do you do you also have some? So you you want to have something else going on that you also do that generates money for you. It's a lot easier to be on the mainland setting something up online than it is to um, set up a, a brick and mortar. Uh, business here in Hawaii from Tennessee or Florida or wherever you're watching from so basically that is how I do it now if I like to travel so I focus on um, things that I can do that are travel related if you too like travel 
you know you can you definitely want to get on social media and start building a following there because from that following there's going to be you know audience reach people that you can communicate with on Instagram you know people make money on Instagram I don't I don't know Instagram in and out but there's people on here that can help you understand Instagram I don't know YouTube inside and out um, I don't know Twitter you know stuff like that I like Facebook I am focused on Facebook mostly but I like these other platforms um, and I like to do things that um, allow me to be flexible with my time. I mean, what are things that you can do that you can do in Thailand, Bali, I mean, without a work permit? Because some a lot of places, you know, you're going to need a work permit. So having a job that allows you to work online, whether it be, maybe you work for... Uh, I don't know, maybe you work for Walmart as a distributor who has to travel as an agent. I don't know. These are things you have to find out and you have to take the time to research it because that's what it starts with is research. So yes, watching this video is a form of research, but rely, by copying me, you can do that, but there's other things that might be a better fit for you. Maybe you're not into being a social media guru or I'm not saying I'm a social media guru because that's not what I'm really saying, but I'm just saying you, you got to be flexible. You got to be uh, creative. There you go. Art, creative design. What, what can you do as a, as an artist? Can you do fishing? You know, some of you guys can get on boats, do fishing. I don't know. I mean, fish, you catch a fish, it sells, right? <laughs> So, having multiple different revenue streams is your answer. That's how I make Hawaii possible. That's how Hawaii is possible. A lot of people here, they have one to two to three jobs. I say one job because it starts at one, but those are rare. You gotta have, usually that's two or three income sources here in Hawaii. So, how many, resource, how many are you going to come here with? How many income resources are you going to get a job right off the bat and then what are you going to do on top of that for money so no this is not a, a doomsday uh, video that you guys you know get all depressed about and be like man I gotta have all this no it's a starting point for a lot of you it's saying income streams so I, I give you the straight talk so that you don't have to so that you don't you know get deceived it's not about deception, it's about reality. Because a lot of people, everything here, people are already doing things. There's a local here, okay? So unless you're doing like 3D, 3D, uh, what is it, 3D printing or something that's like cutting edge, someone probably is already here doing it. Photography, if you're a photographer and you think you're gonna come here and <laughs> uh, make a million gazillion dollars, uh, no. I, I mean, I welcome competition. I don't look at competition, I don't look at it as competition. To be honest with you, I actually, I'm like the boat charters. Most of the boat charters don't look at the other charters as competition because it's work. Work is work. But what I'm saying is it's a very competitive industry here, here on the big island. I mean, photography is a dime a dozen. Everyone's doing photography. It's Hawaii. Photographers come from far and wide just to work here. And like I said, I actually don't make a lot of money doing photography or videos. I make more money that comes from off island. So turning yourself into a magnet and bringing the money to the island. Not trying to necessarily, I mean, yeah, you can do like install washing machines or be a handyman. Yeah, there's gonna be a demand for that. But finding the ways to make money and bringing it to the island for most of you would be the way to go. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you would like and thank you.